Hey guys, this is Odon Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. So, uh, if you have been watching my channel for a little bit, you've noticed that I've kind of started making it a theme of uh, showing my runs that I do for Hydra from my my Twitch streams. Usually, I do my Hydra runs on a Thursday or sometimes on different days, depend depending on what I have planned during my Twitch streams. So, this video is gonna be again <clears throat> about my nightmare hydra team but this time we are on a different rotation so basically i'm trying to my goal on my main account is to always have a key that does one key nightmare one key brutal and one key hard you know to get the top chest and this week i have actually managed to do that again you know but this time was really fun because i managed to do that on the first try there were some things that i wanted to to change in the future for myself you know to like get different champions to use on different uh, difficulties but for this one you know i still want to show it to you and as always you're gonna you should be able to understand why and what i'm doing every single time with with my hydrant because I explain every single thing that I do and the reason why I do it. So, as per usual, guys, I'm gonna play with my that part of the Twitch stream where I'm doing my run, explaining everything that I'm that I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And then at the end, we're gonna come back and I will show you the bills that I have. So, enjoy and see you in a bit, guys. Okay, let's see. So, uh, okay, okay. Let's see if he's fine. Geo's fine. Ugo's okay, and Oboro's my target. So let's see. Okay, guys, wish me luck. Let's see. Let's see the first first try. How painful is this gonna be? Okay, good start. No decrease speed. I guess I need a provoke there, and I honestly want to kill uh, Ras first. As long as his provokes, as long as the provokes stay, I should be fine. Okay, Provoke went. I already started extending some of these things, so that's good. Yellow is made from green and red. Okay, that's that's it. I forgot which was it. I want decrease speed to land here. That's that's the thing. Okay, we blocked that one. Uh, four debuffs, so she becomes AoE. Yeah, that Provoke doesn't help. Uh, provoke again. Okay, that's fine. Decrease speed landed. Okay, we're good. We procced him. That was a big smack. But we should still be fine. I should have done the A2 with her, I guess. See, this is something that's going to help us a lot. The decrease accuracy from Geo, I want it to land. The more it lands, the safer we are. Let's put a revive on that as well, just in case. So he might go with the cleanse if I don't get the turn back with him. So let's just heal. Let's heal some more. So if he's not gonna, if we're not gonna be fast enough to provoke, then it is what it is. We're just gonna have to do the debuffs again. But hopefully the decreased speed could could be clutch in there. Also the boost from uh, Sifi from the passive of of Mother Sibyl is good. I'm scared to do this now because he might clan. So let me just do a one. You are in COVID issues a few months back. Yeah, you did tell me. You did tell me about that. Okay, it provokes there, that's fine. HP burn, let's get it on him. Oh, you still have you still have the issue. You did tell me back then, you still have that issue. Sorry to hear that, mate. Uh I need to provoke him again. So basically, I'm kind of relying a little bit on the on the reflex procs for Solace, because if he doesn't proc, I cannot keep the provoke 100% on DK. But with having the decreased speed from Mother Sibyl and the increased speed from Sifi, I should be kind of good because he should he should keep coming back to his skills faster. Like, that's one of the most important things that you want to have for uh, Hydra. AoE decrease speed and AoE increase speed. It's kind of clutch. Another AoE. Okay, we get those debuffs. That's fine. Let's put the block. No, let's put the revive on that back. That can be really good. Oh, God. So, this one is going to be a cleanse now. Because I didn't get, like, two times in a row. I didn't get the... 
refresh proc, so I guess we just wait. What difficulty? I'm doing Nightmare. I guess I can uh, boost, because she's gonna die, but I have the... I have the, what's it called? The uh, revive on death. So even if Raph smacks us, still have the revive on death. A1, okay, the cleanse comes, that's fine. I expected that. Okay, two people die, guess what? Boom, revive on death comes in there. Should be fine, let's heal a bit. Uh, I guess I'm gonna let it go to do the the cleanse and then actually yeah i'm gonna let it go to do the cleanse and then keep the keep the skills for after that so let's put the hp burn here let's do a bit of healing because we need it and uh, let's try okay so i expected it to go there i need a decrease speed out perfect hey we decrease speed when clutch uh i sh actually should have just put the block buffs i, I wasn't paying attention he put that at protection but Guess what I can do? I can move buffs with him. Boom. Two of them down. That's good enough. And provoked at the same time. And I can remove it with you as well. So I have two people that, removes bu that remove buffs, which can help. But this one sucks now. <laughs> Fuck. So I should have placed the block buffs there. I fucked, I fucked myself over. I wasn't paying attention. But we should still be fine. Provokes coming there are kind of annoying, but that's fine, I guess. Let's see. I'm kind of like, I'm losing a few turns because of that, but yes, that's fine. Let's get the increased defense in there just to be sure we survive. Uh, she can steal buffs on the weak head though. Oh yeah, so she cannot steal buffs on weak head. That's something I just learned. I'm still testing Oboro because I haven't, I haven't always played her. And now I need to focus this guy. I don't have a... What's it called? I don't have a provoke for him, but I don't need it yet, so I should be fine. One of the things that I could do is I could just proc him, and he's gonna, like, ruin me. But... Actually, let's just A1 for now. A1. Okay, now I can steal the buffs. I wanna steal the increased attack. But because we got big smack, look what happened. We are free. That's what happens, guys. That's what happens. Let's see, let's see, do we survive? Did I come back to the revive on death? That's my question. If I come back to the revive on death, it should be fine. If I don't die. <laughs> uh, yes, let's do this one here. Okay, revive on death is there. Let's boost ourselves. The heal as well, perfect. And the provoke, perfect. See, even though we die, the good thing as well... Mother Sibyl's passive boosts our turn meter and heals us every time she dies. Like, before she dies, she fully heals the champion with the lowest HP. And when she revives, she heals everybody by 20%. And she also uh, boosts turn meter, everybody's turn meter, which is clutch. Let's see. I want to kill this guy, though. The, keep the provoke up. I want to... Uh, I cannot take it off, I guess. But that's fine. Let's kill DK first. Uh, I guess hit, hit here. Keep getting hit. That's fine. That's fine. I want to keep focusing DK. The cleansing one is the most annoying, honestly, in my opinion. At least for uh, for my team and the teams that I've tested. But in general, I feel like that's the most annoying one. Uh, should I swap or just I can just let her die? Have, to be fair, to be fair, having Mother Sybil keep dying is not such a bad thing. I need the block buffs though. Need to keep it provoked. HP burn there. Because every time she dies, I'd, like I said, she fully heals around the lost HP. When I revive, watch. Boom. Heal and boost her meter, everyone. That's that's clutch. Got smashed. But I guess that's fine. Uh, A1 there. Little bit of heal. A1. Heal everyone. Okay, that was a big hit. That's fine. I guess I just need to... I just need Sifi to come back to her revives fast. But that shouldn't be a problem because she's like 352. She's my arena Sifi. Also, Solus's A3 is actually insane. I don't know if you noticed, but look at all those debuffs staying up there. Solus with his A3 extends all the debuffs by one turn. He's a beast. Solus is a beast. 
Okay, let's revive uh, Mother Sibyl first because what's uh, his face? Oboro is not a priority yet as we don't have the Head of Mischief. Once we get the Head of Mischief, that's when we're gonna need Oboro. One thing I did notice now though is Tolas keep, keeps getting shield when he does his A3, so he might have too many buffs, but I need to see, do I have a... Oh no, I don't. Okay, so I might need to get Blood Shield accessories accessory for my for my Oboro to make this team work better but I guess let's see let's see what happens let's keep going with this so remove keep healing uh let's keep hitting this one it's almost dead okay it's dead got our max HP back oh that was a big hit that was a big big hit decrease speed on there no okay that's fine uh I guess you can do the AoE to extend the debuffs again Geo is gonna be eaten so that's gonna be Tough, I guess let's put the HP burn just to have the HP burn there. Increase defense, revive Oboro. Hopefully she doesn't die. Bruh. Why did it not revive? Bruh. It didn't let me revive. I tried to click, it didn't let me revive. I guess maybe it was a... Uh, maybe it, well, the game was like, do not revive because Wrath is going to smash you. Bruh. Are you seeing this? Will she block revive? Okay. Finally did it. I was like, will she block revive? What the hell? Uh, I need the revive on death from Sybil now. Okay, perfect. You know, just in case. Let's see. Can do the AOE one. Boom. Any heals? No, we cannot heal. Okay, so we actually survive. We're good, we're good. Let's keep hitting the decapitated head. Because that's where we get more damage. Also, one thing I need to do is uh, I need to... I'm gonna keep what's it called? Uh, I'm gonna keep the smashes now because somebody's gonna devour. Okay, we have to have we have the head of torment. The only thing that we have to deal with this one is Safi and Ugo's clan, so that's gonna be interesting. I mean, she can still be fine because she can put perfect bear on herself, but everybody else is kind of in a bit of a pickle. So. Yeah, let's see how we deal. I forgot about Torment. So the only thing is here, we're not perfectly ready to deal with Torment. So I'm going to keep the smash because like I said, Geo's going to be eaten soon. Let's just hit the head with the highest HP. Hey, we decrease speed in there. That's fine. Decrease accuracy. So we're going to rely on the percentages of CF uh, removing the... What's it called? The, the true fear because there's a 50% chance she can remove it from her passive so that's 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 another extra thing she brings in here okay i guess he's gonna eat us that's gonna be a big smash though i need this one to proc uh i think i'm saving it i'm not gonna use it now because if he takes he's gonna blow up so i'm gonna save it for now waiting to try and get the decrease defense for increase defense first on everyone please do not please please oh fuck off actually got it damn it uh, I guess I'm going to attack here because I do not want to proc him yet. Let's heal and increase defense. Perfect. Okay, now I can do it. Now I can smash. Now I can smash. He can proc. That's fine. I have increased defense. I, I can uh, survive at least. AoE down there. Heal. Little bit more heal. Decrease defense again. Keep going. I need Geo back because obviously Geo's, uh, Geo's my main source of HP burn and big source of the damage. Heal. I need, to, I need to hit him even with a weaker hit, but it is what it is. Okay, Poison Cloud just there. It's fine. I do not mind that much. Uh, I guess I need to revive first. Still have block debuffs. I need to heal. Come on. Okay, we blocked the weekend. That's perfect. Come on, come on. Come on. I just need that. I guess missing the War Master from Solus kind of hurts me a bit. It's a bit painful. I still have another turn. I'm not going to. Actually, I should proc it yet while the block buffs is still up. 
Yeah, that's what I should do. While the block buffs is still up, I should proc it. Oh, that was a big hit. That, that hurt. I know. Oh, come on, heal. Ugo, heal. Come on, come on. Okay, perfect. Heal. That's good. Damn, that was painful. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard. It's hard, but it's... It's still fine. We're fine. Uh, let's kill him, because I don't have a way to deal with him. So I guess he's... Focusing him would not be a bad idea. Uh, decrease speed. Perfect. Uh... I guess Blight is kind of dead, so it is what it is. Oh, it's not yet, bro. Okay, died now. It had to, it had to, like, throw a shit ton of poison on me before it died, of course. Come on. Uh, which one has four debuffs? Boom, AoE again, that's fine. Let's heal, please. Okay, not enough, that's fine. Remove that reflect damage, perfect. AoE decrease speed, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, that was clutch uh a1 let's see let's see uh let's let's hit over here Whew. i mean the damage looks fine so far so far so good let's see how it goes from now on though i hear you uh heat wave is true yeah yeah there's a there's a penalty lots of there's a big ass heat wave everywhere like it's 33 degrees celsius in in Romania right now, where I am at least. In other places, like 38. So yeah, it's it's crazy. Uh, let me put this and then try and smash this guy. Proc him, actually. Actually, no. Block buffs. He's going to try to provoke. So I guess... Let me heal a bit, though. Oh, I couldn't. Boom. So we, we got to survive. See, the revive on that is just clutch. Have AC. Yeah, I don't have AC. I need to we need to get AC. <laughs> That's a thing. But okay, this this looks okay so far so good, honestly. Who's gonna be the next? Ugo, okay, I need to keep that in mind. Let's heal up. Keep the decrease speed in there. Uh I guess I'm just gonna A1 because I don't want the truth here to proc. Let's see what we get. Okay, we get the blight. I don't care, blight is fine. We are fine with blight, no issue there. Heal up. Uh, let's focus more on the torment again. True fear. Okay, that's good. We can we could cleanse it. He's gonna. Be, uh, she's gonna be eaten soon. I would like to have the block boss before she's eaten though. But I guess I guess that doesn't depend on me. Okay, can we kill it before it? I guess not really. So let's just get let's just get HP one on this one. Okay, it killed itself. That's good. <laughs> okay, block buffs is out there. That's perfect. Okay, so this is the issue now. If suffering eats us, he gets an extra turn from the from the A3. But at the same time, it's still on three turns. The the digestion. If this was on a two turn, I would be screwed because I'm not sure if I had enough damage to deal with it. But because it's on a three turn, we're still good. We blocked that. Let's do the AoE. I'm gonna keep the A2 from... I'm gonna keep the A2 from Solus. I'm not gonna try try not to hit the Suffering Head because if DK comes out, I need a way to keep the Provokes going on him. So I'm not gonna touch it yet. Let's keep... I wanna keep healing. Let's say one. Uh, I guess let's get some HP buns in here as well. A1 again. A1 here. A we A1. Perfect. See the smash? This is why Geo's good against, especially against this rotation. Geo's really good against this rotation because there's three AoE heads. The more damage you get, the better it is for Geo. Can I risk it? Fuck it. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Let's kill that one. Oh shit. And I just said that. I just said, oh my god, I'm a moron. I was just saying I'm going to keep the A2 in case the, the DK comes. Guess what I just did? I, I used it. I don't have a provoke. Shit. Let's keep A1 in here. Okay, that one's dead. No more true fears. A1. Decrease speed at least. No. 
Okay, I have the provoke. Okay, we're good. We're good. I just need a decrease speed in there. I 100% need a decrease speed. I need the decrease speed. So, Mother Sybil, please do not disappoint. Please land it. Okay, land it. Perfect. Let's focus this one out. This is the one that I hate. Let's heal. Okay, provoke back up. We're good. We're good. A we keep a one. Those war masters can do damage. What's here? Okay, so the mischief comes. Now it's gonna be the real test. Do we do we have what it takes to deal with the head of mischief or not? Will she be the target or not? That's that's the main question. I need her to do the this one. Boom. Whenever she does a raise three, she has a lot of buffs, and that's what makes her a good target for the mischief. Let's see. Is is it is that still working or not? Let's see, heal up a bit. Uh, HP burn there, HP burn here. I guess I could still do HP burn here or no. Let's get it on this one. I want this one to die. That one's tricky. Let's keep focusing the. Let's keep focusing the DK. Okay, so we tried to do, to do it. It's not didn't kill it. Okay, this might be a problem. This might be a problem if Solus doesn't get the turn to do the provoke before he goes. Let's see. I mean it's it's gonna I'm just gonna have to place all the debuffs again. But hopefully Solus gets a turn. Come on, Solus. Let's fucking go. And I'm gonna do A2 because I wanna remove that ally protection as well. Okay, that's good. We're good, we're still fine, we're still fine, guys. A3 again, because I want to keep having the most I want to keep having the most buffs on Oboro. Because she's, like I said, she's my mischief target in this team. Okay. Let's extend all of those debuffs and do some damage, because why not? A we A1. Boom. We killed the suffering head. We're good. Uh, let's put this on this one, because why not? Let's do a bit of healing. And I'll keep focusing the the cleansing head. Let's keep focusing. I mean, I should clean, focus this one maybe, but I want to focus the cleansing head because that's the, the most annoying for me. Most annoying for me is the cleansing head because that's the one that can cause me the most trouble. As I need, the, what's it called? Uh, I need HP burns from Geo. I need HP burns from Geo to stay there. And if, if DK keeps cleansing them... That's painful because we lose a lot of damage. The HP burn is the only way I deal with Blight at the same time. So, you know, everything's for good reason. Let's see. Okay. Keep A1s going in here. Decrease speed. Okay. Provoxes are still there. So, so far, so good. A we A1. Uh, where do we have? So, we do not have HP burn here. Let's place it back. We still have it there for two turns. We're fine. I mean, so far this looks good, guys. So far this looks good. And what? It's the first attempt. Am I right? First attempt looks fine. Okay, this might be a tricky thing. Because now, guess what? The mischief stole our mischief target. <laughs> so mischief stealing our mischief target is actually painful. But might still have what it takes, I guess. Just need to get smashed. And get need some get some good RNG block buffs in there. Uh, come on, no, okay, that's fine. I need the AOE heads to start start hitting me. If the AOE heads don't hit me, we cannot proc it. But this is fine. This is fine. I don't know why I'm worrying. Look at this. Boom. Oboros back out. It's just that was the scary thing. The scary thing was up and before. Uh, I need Oboro back for the sake of. Putting the, what's it called? She needs to do her A3. If she doesn't do her A3, she's not the one that has the most... What's it called? Oh, I keep forgetting. I, I can I cannot brain like do Hydra and thing. If she doesn't do her A3, she doesn't have the most buff. So I need her to come back to her skills and do the, her A3. So she's the mischief target again. Otherwise, we're going to get buff stolen. We got lucky we resisted because guess what? Like I said, having the decrease accuracy and some resistance on Sifi actually helped me. My Sifi actually has a 250 resist. That I was speaking about at the beginning. 
Oh fuck, I don't have it yet. I guess let's let's say one here because I don't want it to be true field. Decrease speed. Okay. Have it there, have it here. I wanna put the decrease accuracy again, so that's why I cast it. Come on, let's boost. Perfect. Block block debuffs. Oh come on. Oh shit, the, the fear proc. Okay, okay, that was that was that was bad. He's gonna cleanse. But it is what it is. Unless Solus procs the refresh and comes back to it. Let's see. Come on, Solus. No refresh. Okay, that's fine, I guess. It's so gonna today we cleanse and then we're just gonna need to come back to do the, all the all the HP burns again. Which again I start with this this guy. Start with the guy that's the most annoying. And I need to put the block buffs. Lucky thing is that Oboro is still the target. What do we have? Wrath. Okay, Wrath. It is what it is. Wrath helps us do more damage with... With uh, Geomancer, I guess. So, that's not the worst. Problem is this one. I need to keep him controlled. So he doesn't cleanse himself yet. Okay, block buff. So he cannot put the increased attack. That's perfect. Hey, we decrease speed, please. Uh, I'm just gonna A1, I don't want to risk losing that. It's fine, decrease accuracy, that's perfect. A1. Okay, provoke is still in there, that's fine, let's cleanse it. Okay, let's do this one. Solus is gonna be eaten by the most annoying head, obviously. And now I need to focus this guy somehow. I need to get the the HP burn from here, otherwise I'm it's kind of scary. Please, CP, please cleanse Geo. Please cleanse Geo. Okay, we're good, we're good. We landed that. Now, guess what? Let's let's even proc this guy. Boom, proc him, and we're gonna get. We're gonna get. Hopefully, as soon as he hits again, hopefully, should get the Solus back out. Almost, almost. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, I'm not gonna do HP burn because the cleanse, AoE cleanse is gonna come. Perfect, okay, we have... So it's it was scary, but we got our Solus back, which is really important. Let's get her back, so she can become the mischief target again. Okay, stole the increased defense, I'm not that worried about that. Increased defense being stolen, it's not a problem. My problem is, if he steals the block debuffs from Sifi. That's the only problem, because if the block debuffs is stolen, I cannot provoke DK, and I cannot put the HP burns with with uh, Solus. So, I'm fine. I'm not gonna provoke yet, because it's fine. He still has stuns up until he comes back to his cleanses. Uh, AWA 1. Yep. AWA 1 again. A1 here. Oh shit, I already won Kid Nightmare. I didn't even realize I already won Kid Nightmare. That's fine. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's not so bad. That is not so bad. Let's do the AoE now. Boom. Okay, that one's dead. Block buffs. Revive on that and all the fun stuff. A1. So this is not so bad, it seems. It seems this is not so bad. AWA 1, HP burn on. Actually, let's kill this guy, because we want, we do not care about this. We're slowly going to kill DK with the A1, so I shouldn't worry. But let's kill Torment at the same time. I don't need to provoke it yet, so... I can just A1. I don't want it to fully heal, that's obvious. I don't want it to fully heal. Let's see, a hey, one again. I would like to have increased defense though, before I proc him, so let's do it. Let's do this. And it should be proc, yep, it proc okay, that's fine. Now, do I need provoke? Not yet, okay, the... Mischief came back. That should be fine. 
we should be fine. I guess I'm not going to be able to remove the egg, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Uh, what do I want to do? I'm curious who's going to hit first. Actually, wait. Yeah, I'm curious who's going to hit first. I hope Rath hits first. No, that's fine. Okay. So he has full HP now. It's okay. We're going to proc him with Wrath, I guess. Okay, Geo got eaten. That's not so good. <laughs> that's not so good, but like I said... I already have my one key. Nightmare, so this is not so bad. One key on the first try. Guess that's pretty good, right? I'm not gonna auto rats because not everybody in our clan hits uh hits nightmare, so I'm trying to do as much damage as I can. AWA hey, one. Come on, hit it. Oh fuck. It's fine. Okay, I guess Geo is down, that's it. We're gonna have to do the rest of the damage without Geo. Uh, heal. Okay, that's good. I guess now all the trophies. Yep, all the trophies will proc all the cleanses. I mean, it's a one key already. I'm I'm kind of happy. First try, one key. That's not so bad. That's not so bad, is it, guys? First try, one key. And I didn't use Lydia. If you look at it. That's the most fun part for me. I didn't even use Lydia. Like, you know, my best champions. Nope. Lydia's not even in this team. Bro, why did I do that one? Two Void Legos. Yeah. It is what it is, mate. You have to use what you have. It's Nightmare Rats. So whatever you say does not matter. This is Nightmare Hydra. If I'm not used to, if I'm not allowed to use two Void Legendaries on Nightmare Hydra, then I don't know where I'm allowed to use them. Plus, I didn't even reset the Masteries for Solus. Like, I didn't even put Solus with uh, War Master. He's still in, in uh, Helm Smasher. PV content. True, PV content. PV content, I'm allowed to use Void Legendaries. What, what else will I be pulling shards for? Ouch. Hydra Master. <laughs> Mate, I, I was testing out things. Testing out things. I've seen some some ideas in some of my clan mates that I wanted to test out. And this is what it came out. I mean, it's over already. Like, I'm definitely not going to do this again. Like, I mean, this week. This week is like, I'm keeping this key. That's fine. 39.5, I did my, you know, my one key. My one key damage is in there. It's on the first try. So I'm definitely going to take it. 30 minutes. But like I said, the, the most fun thing on the first try. It actually worked on the first try. Look at Geomancer. Geomancer was a monster. Like I said, for this rotation. Why Oboro? Oboro is the mischief target. Geomancer was a beast here because you start off with three AoE heads. Start off with Wrath, with Blight, and Suffering. All three of those have AoE A1s. Okay, and I am back, so let's just have a look at the builds of the champions. You have already seen maybe at the beginning the, the speeds, but let's look exactly at everything that my people have. So, just like last time, my safe is in my arena build. Uh, in my arena build, one of the, you know, one of my fast champions. The resistance was not put on purpose, but like I said, straight up, once I build her for arena, that's all that she has. These are her masteries. I'm going to try and let me move myself a little bit out of the way. And, you know, showcase as, as a... Showcase this as, as fast as possible so we don't, you know, waste time. You can always pause the video. You can always pause the video to check to check the builds. This is my Solus. My Solus, he was in my arena build, and I have changed. I have changed only his gear. I didn't change his masteries. Maybe for next rotation, I'm just gonna reset his masteries and get him with War Master to do more damage. And the fun thing with him, I built him in a reflex because I specifically try to use him for the sake of the provokes. I'm not using him as much in arena anymore, so I'm like, you know, why not bring him for the provokes? Because he has it on the A3 and on the A2. At the same time, he can smack. He can remove buffs on the A2 and he extends all the debuffs on the A3. So he's actually an insanely good uh, champion to use for the sake of Hydra. In case you haven't and, you know, you feel like just like me that like his place is not uh, as useful in arena anymore, just bring him in Hydra. It's going to be really useful there. Then the next one is Mother Sibyl. Mother Sibyl is in a Guardian for the sake of, you know, a little bit of that damage mitigation, fully booked, obviously. These are her stats. 
let me move myself out of the way we obviously wanted to get a 400 accuracy so she lands a decrease speed that's really important these are her masteries took it took her down the offense and the support she obviously the support she wants sniper and master hexer for a bigger for a higher chance to land a decrease speed and to extend it like like i mentioned during my run aoe decrease speed and aoe increase speed is an extremely important buff and debuff to bring to bring for the sake of uh, for the sake of Hydra, so so you know that's that's why she's in there, and plus for the lead as well. Like having that, you know, that 24% lead, it, it's kind of it's kind of clutch. One thing that I want to test in the next time is like Rats mentioned it during the stream. I want to test to see can I just use her as the mischief target on her on her own with this one because this one she puts uh she puts two continuous heals buffs on herself. So maybe by doing this she might actually be the the good mischief target but i would need to reset her masteries and get her lasting gifts I, I will see if it's worth doing because if i do that maybe i can bring another dps in there so you know there's gonna be some testing to be done so those were the legendaries now the the supports this is my second geo i built two geos i just copy pasted their their builds like as you see this is my second one this is my first one so i don't build two geos i just take gear from one to the other well, this, uh, this is the Geo build, my best reflex that I have on my account, and it's nothing too crazy, as you see. You don't want to care about his damage, you just care about his speed, survivability, and to have the accuracy to land his debuffs. And these are his masteries, same kind of principle, you know, with offense, with, with Warmaster and, and support tree for the sake of extra chance of landing the decreased accuracy on day one, that's why I took Sniper here. Then we have Ugo, which is, let me see, Ugo... Uh, bum, bum, bum. she should be down here okay this is ugo's build again another reflex reflex relentless they're, they're like the most important uh, sets for hydra honestly because you want as much good rng as you can get so try try to try to get most of your champions in that this is the the ugo build again didn't really i think i actually aimed for the resist to get to 250 because if i land the what's it called if i land the decrease accuracy on them she's gonna resist almost everything so even, even or maybe not mischief, but she's gonna resist the provokes, gonna resist the poisons from blight and everything. So if you can try and get 250 in your builds, go for that. The speed and um, no masteries yet. So I do not have any masteries, even though this is the one that I use, no masteries. Need to finish masteries. I think I'm just gonna go same principle as Geomaster with Warmaster and the support tree. And then the last one, my mischief target is, let me see, I guess uh, Oboros in the vault. Let me just take Obora out and show you her build. Let's start with the Oboro Masteries since we already are there. So these are her Masteries. Again, same principle, offense and support. But on the support tree this time around, I took the lasting gifts because I want a chance to extend those buffs that she puts on herself. That means she's 99.99% of the time she's always going to be the mischief target when the mischief comes around. So, you know, that, that was basically her role in this team. One thing that I will change for next week is instead of Oboro, I'm going to bring Lord Chamfort in that team that does, you know, same stun targeting. But she the, the thing is... Yes, Lord Champford was not as good for my second team that is for Brutal with Duchess because his extra buff is a shield. Duchess does a shield on her A1, so that's not good. However, Oboro is good to go alongside Duchess because of her passive as well. She puts a revive on death. For the same reason, Ob uh, Oboro is not good with Mother Sable because Mother Sable does revive on death on the A2 as well. So, you know, from testing and tweaking stuff, yeah, I'm going to find better and better and better solutions to, you know, why to use one champion, not the other with alongside the other team. It's, it's all about the team synergies, guys. It's all about the team synergies with Hydra and covering all the roles that you need. You know, mischief target, provoke, block buffs, decrease attack, you know, all the crazies, increase speed, decrease speed. So that that's that's what you need to always try and get and get for yourself. These are the Oboro stats that I have almost forgot to show. You're trying to aim for like around Try to aim for around 500 resistance, you know, to, to make sure you resist the, the head of, of mischief because that's, you know, that's a roll. And I try to get a little bit of damage, kind of hard to, you know, hit high resist, high accuracy, high speed and survivability and damage. So, you know, a little bit of damage that she does is from the from the War Master. But yeah, this this was the this was the build. This was the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. If you enjoy my content, as it's gonna help me a lot. And I guess I will see you in the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.